Hello everyone, welcome back to Goo to You. We are here again today at Epcot for kind of part two of our Space 220 video. So the first time we came, it was opening day. It was very hectic. I don't think they were even serving a lounge menu. I don't know for sure. And then they opened the lounge, but you had to wait in line and there was like hour, two hour wait. But now they take reservations. So we have a reservation tonight and we're gonna go in and try it out. Yeah, it was recent that just out of nowhere, Space 220 just started accepting reservations for lounge. And I've heard good things about it too. I've heard the meals are about $28. I'm mm. curious to see if they're actually filling for that price. But even then, if you spend $28 to go into space, I think this is definitely a good deal. We'll see how it goes. We'll yeah. see how everything is, but I'm really excited to go in there. I've heard that's the best menu they have out of the three. Yeah, I heard that so too. Yeah. we're gonna go in and find out. Yep, so, so I guess we'll head in, go around, and um, sounds good. seated here we have a pretty nice seat yeah um, I will say from in the past I think when we first came here I was kind of confused we were both kind of confused as far as what the lounge was going because yeah. I came over here I asked a cast member and they said that this area would not be used for lounge so I think there might have been a misunderstanding so if I said that in the video I apologize for that it is used for seating now so that's kind of nice yeah uh, but I'm I appreciate that I'm, I'm glad we're not having to sit up at the bar right now I kind of like preferred uh, a nice seating here so mm. it's kind of nice That's, that was really scary. Um, yeah. I know I know. we always say yelling goo is the thing we do, as, mm -hmm. as we are goo to you, but um, uh, yeah, I think that was even scarier than boo. Yeah. But yeah. Um, we'll have to cut that out because I'm sure it's gonna kind of frighten some audiences probably watching, so. But anyways, we're seated, we ordered, uh, we're ready. I'm excited. We got the chicken and waffles and the sliders, um, which if you guys want to check out the lounge menu, it is on their website, but um, they have a significantly different menu compared to their lunch and dinner, so. Not a ton of things. Yeah. And I think the only thing they have on the, I think the only thing they have on the lounge menu that they have on the regular menu is the calamari. Maybe they have the deviled eggs. And the, the broccoli as well. That's right, yeah. the, cal the um, cauliflower. Yeah, broccoli, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. But anyways, they do have some exclusive things for the lounge, so yeah. those two items we got, you can't get anywhere else, you have to get in the lounge. So we're gonna try them out, I'm excited, yeah. and um, it should be pretty good. Looks like Goose noticed what I um, pointed out in our last video that um, they must not eat as much in space because they have tiny forks. Yeah, but I am noticing wear on these forks as well. Oh, wow. So can I update there? It's kind of black is starting to come off, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to see on camera, but um, there you go. That's getting less space in here, so yeah, that's that's weird. But um, here we are. We have a nice view, I think. Yeah. One kind of interesting thing in here is you kind of have to be in the right spot to get a good view. So the first time we came, we were way back there against the back wall and we got an okay view, it wasn't the greatest. We came again with our parents and we were right up against the glass and that was kind of a not so great view. This, this is good, it's kind of in between. It's not the greatest, especially because goo can't see anything. Yeah. But I feel like if you're right up against the railing, like right by the stairs, that yeah. would be the perfect spot to be. Which I think some of those are lounge yeah, tables yeah. as well. These ones so. over here are lounge, so. Um, you can get that view in the lounge. Um, yep. I guess there's less of a chance of it because there's less tables like that. But you can. Yep. There's goo with this space water. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. How do you rate it? Um, I like their Space Wanderer before. Hopefully it lives up to the expectations. Yeah. It's been great to come back here. It's, it was such a fun time coming. So kind of fun to revisit this. We'll see if the water tastes as good as I remember. I don't know. I, I feel like it's different. It has a kind of weird, like, almost a sweet taste to it. Yeah, it doesn't taste like it I used to. It's strange. Before it was, like, so pure and refreshing. Yeah, it felt, it tasted like space. Yeah, weird, yeah. If that makes sense. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical. It's, it's average water. It tastes like tap water. Yeah. Uh, three out of five. Yeah. They, they must be out of space water today. Yeah. They, their delivery got messed up. So. They didn't call it space water either, yeah, so that's it true. could be. Sad. All right. Goo got some kind of um, special drink here. I think he said it's the Lightyear Lemonade. Yeah. What do you think of it? So it's called Lightyear Lemonade. It's freshly squeezed lemonade with with butterfly pea tea mint. Oh, pea tea and mint, I guess. Um, I guess it's some mint on top. I guess they, they have like agave straws here too, so that's kind of oh. nice. Oh, those are the yeah. other straws. Those aren't even agave. Those are um, those are like the better than agave. Yeah, whatever they are. Um, we'll try this out. It's like purple. Hopefully, it's good. I'm I'm curious. Is that goose sour face? It's sour. It's sour. It's really sour. Maybe if you mix it up a little bit, because yeah. you can see like the flavors are good. I just feel like it's sour. Uh -oh. You can see it's like purple on top and. There you go, that looks a little bit better. You know, mixing lemonade is a, is a skill that only people like me have mastered here. So let me see, let me try it out. It's still really sour. It's not bad. But if I, I would have wished, it doesn't taste like um, fresh lemonade. Maybe it is, but it just doesn't, it just tastes like um, really sour lemon. I know some people like it that way, but for me, it's just a little too much. So what is this? This is the Big Tang, right? This is the Big Tang, and you can see it has the um, the astronaut ice cream on top, which is what intrigued me about this. I tried to get it last time, and they were out. So we're going to give it a try this time. It's Avion Silver, Graham Mariner, Tang-infused agave nectar, grapefruit, and strawberry, and then served with astronaut ice cream. It sounds pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. We'll you see. like Tang too, so. I do. Let's see. That's pretty good. The flavors blend together really nicely. Um, just overall, overall an enjoyable drink. I want to see how this. That goes surprisingly well with it. I wouldn't have thought chocolate would be something that I would want with this drink, but it actually goes surprisingly well. Um, it sounds kind of strange, but I would recommend giving it. I think it's a really good drink. All right, so our food did come here. Right here we have the short rib sliders, which have white cheddar cheese, an aioli, uh, sriracha aioli, uh, lettuce, tomato, uh, and pickles. We, Matt, Matt and I aren't a huge fan of pickles. Uh, Matt really doesn't like tomatoes, so we didn't get tomatoes on it, uh, unfortunately. I know we, we don't like to go against the chef recommendation, but mm. we did today, unfortunately. But um, here they are, they look pretty good. We'll try them out with fries as well. But we also got the chicken and waffles here. Pretty much chicken, smoked bacon and roasted corn waffle, spiced coleslaw, and bourbon maple glaze. So we'll try these out, hopefully it's good. I'm excited to try yeah. these out. The coleslaw looks good. Oh yeah, we, we didn't get the coleslaw as well, but. yeah. We'll try it out. All right, so I have the sliders here. Um, it looks pretty good. It has the only on it. The bun looks nice. The lettuce looks like it was harvested from the, the lettuce farm over there. I'm excited. We'll try it out. Here's a little bit in the inside right there. Definitely has like a short rib texture to it. It's pretty good. Um, it just tasted, it just was short rib between a sandwich, and I know that's what it is, but honestly, this isn't amazing. It's not. Um, it's not bad by any means either, but it's here. It's good. I, I wish there was more of the aioli. I really don't taste much of it. Um, lettuce had a good texture. Overall, it, it was decent. I don't think it's anything blown me away, but um, it's pretty good. I really enjoy it. Let me try the fries, though. They're, some of them aren't really crispy. It's kind of inconsistent there. Um, but they do the job. They're just fries. 
I already ate my chicken and waffles, so you're not going to be able to see them when I have them, but you'll see them when Drew tries them. I will say, though, I thought those were really nice. I enjoyed the maple bur bourbon glaze. I thought that gave it a really nice flavor. And then you definitely got the bacon that gave it a nice texture. There was just like bacon crumbled on the waffles. The chicken was really nice. It was cooked nicely. The only complaint that I had was about the, the waffles. They weren't bad and they had a nice flavor to them, but they're corn waffles, which I knew they were corn waffles. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know it meant they have like kernels of corn in them. That's, I've never seen that before. Like kernels of corn in a waffle. It was just kind of weird. It gave it a weird texture. Um, it gave it a nice sweetness though, which I appreciated. Overall, not bad, just kind of strange and unexpected. Um, so just be aware of that. But overall, really enjoyable dish. I liked it a lot. I, I think I would get it again. So Matt told you all about the chicken and waffles, but what he did not tell you was that this dish here, mind you, is one of the most sticky dishes I've seen in my life. Um, I picked up the plate, my fingers are sticky. I I'm honestly uh, dis disturbed at this point, but um, we'll try this out. I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. There you go, look at it. We'll try it out. All right, I have some thoughts. Overall, I think the star of this dish is the sauce here. Uh, really good, goes well with everything. Um, the waffle is really good as well. I actually, um, I didn't mind the texture of the corn in there. I thought that was kind of nice, kind of unique uh, take on this. But the chicken, I think, was the least, my least favorite element of this dish. I think it was kind of a little bit dry. Um, I just think it could have had more flavor to it. It was good, uh, but I just wish I had more uh, because that was probably the weakest part. But I will say, once you try them all together, this was a very decent dish. And, um, yep, I, I enjoyed this one. I, I would get this again um, for sure. That being said, I know I didn't rate the other one yet, but I think for this rating, I'm going to rate this one a 3.6, 3.7. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was good. Um, it, it's not perfect, but I think it's very decent. I enjoy it. As far as the sliders go, uh, they were all right. I, as far as the rating, maybe thinking a 3.4. Uh, it was all right. I just think it could have, it just wasn't anything special for me. So I just ate my slider. Um, first impression, I thought the lettuce was kind of weird. I didn't really think it, it went that well on it. And I'm a big fan of lettuce on sandwiches. I just didn't think it really fit on this. That being said, I really liked the flavor of um, everything together. I liked the texture of the short rib. The sauce was really nice. I was expecting a little bit of um, spiciness from the sriracha aioli, which I didn't get at all. So I was kind of disappointed. That being said, the cheese did go really nicely with it. The sauce went really nicely with it, even though there was no spice to it. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good um, pretty good slider. They were tiny, though. I think you showed them. Um, I think both appetizers here were... They're, yeah. they're not meals, I don't think. Yeah, I could have eaten two of those. Yeah, this is enough to fill you up, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. Overall... Um, I think everything was pretty decent. A lot of people were saying that the lounge was like, had the best menu of Space 220. I think as far as like the, um, the flavor of the food, the presentation of the food, I think all that, I agree with them. The only issue I have is just, I'm still hungry. Yeah. But overall, not a bad meal. But how would you rate them? How would you rate these? I'd probably give them both a three, seven. Three, oh wow, both yeah. of them. Wow. I enjoyed them both equally. I think there was a lot of creativity, at least in the chicken and waffle one which I appreciate here. Yeah. Um, and I know there were creative options on the dinner and lunch menu, but um, I feel like the more creativity with this restaurant, the better. So yeah, I appreciate it. I would say maybe this wouldn't be bad for like a light lunch. Yeah. If you're yeah. walking around the parks and you don't want to eat too much, but you want to eat something and have a kind of unique experience. I think it would be good. They do have a dessert menu here and you can order it in the lounge. I think we've decided against it though. The last couple times we were here, dessert wasn't really super impressive, but there is another dessert here in Epcot that I've been wanting to try for a really long time over in France. So I think we're gonna head that way and give that a try. Kind of a bonus for you guys. Yeah, so we'll probably go downstairs, take this elevator down, yeah. and we'll meet you guys there, so I'll wait to France. But yeah, upon leaving the restaurant here, this is kind of fun hidden fact, I think. Um, this is actually like a wine room, like a wine cellar. So you actually have wine bottles in here. Um, it kind of, it's easily overlooked because it kind of goes with the theming here. But I think that's kind of cool. And you can buy all these bottles here in the restaurant. Yeah, that's, so that's kind of cool. Uh, that being said though, we are on our way out. So I think we're gonna head out, head towards the end and uh, go downstairs to Earth again. Yep. Attention back to Epcot will be a smooth and fun one tonight. So enjoy the ride.
All right, so we're back on Earth. Um, so what do you think overall of the experience? I thought overall it was pretty good. Um, I enjoyed the food. The portions were a little bit small, but overall you're getting the experience of Space 220 yeah. without spending like $80, $90 a person, whatever yeah. it is. I think one of the things that I kind of justified the price in the past was because you are paying for this experience. It yeah. is a great experience, great theming. Uh, really well done, I think. I think that's the best part of Space 220, at least for me. Yeah. Um, and this really is a more affordable way to do that. Yeah. That being said, though, the, the whole meals, I guess they were appetizers, kind of. Yeah. Um, they were definitely smaller. They weren't, like, full meals. So don't expect a full meal here, but it was fun. I think it's something that uh, I would recommend if you want a more affordable option, if you want to make it out here, uh, yeah. which I think was really great that we got to kind of go visit the station and uh, enjoy this experience, I think. I wish I would have thought to ask when we were up there. I just thought of it now. The people next to us at the lounge were ordering from the dinner menu. Really? So that means you can get the dinner menu when you're at the lounge. Does that? So if you can get the dinner menu when you're at the lounge, can you get the lounge menu when you're at dinner? Oh, that's interesting. I yeah. assume you can, as, but if you have dinner, you have to get the dinner. Yeah, and yeah. And you can get the lounge menu additionally. Yeah. But when you're at the lounge, you have the option of getting whatever yeah, you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm glad we got to show it to you guys. I think it was pretty fun. How much? It ended up being about 60? 60 or 70 dollars total. Yeah. When, if we just went for the whole meal, it would be 90 per person. Yeah, so yeah. Um, really definitely affordable. I mean, I'm not full, but um, I'm definitely not hungry either. So yeah. I think it really helped us. Uh, like I said, really it, I think it's a nice little like um, like a nice little lunch. Yeah. Uh, if you're not looking to eat a lot, yeah. um, I think it was pretty good. Yeah. That being said, though, I think we're kind of done with this. I think we're going to go on from the park, go on, kind of see if we see anything else that kind of, um, if we see anything else along the way. But we'll kind of head towards France, get some dessert over there. Yeah. And it uh, should be pretty good. Sounds good. We were just heading over here, but um, we, we forgot something. Yeah. If you get a non-alcoholic beverage, which Goo did, you get a pack of Space 220 uh, collectible trading cards, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that's a lot of fun. We have a couple packs of these Yeah, these home. are fun. But um, they have different, like, facts about space in them. Yeah. I think it's really cool. And yeah. the server was super nice. They gave us a extra pack, so I got a yeah. pack, too. Yeah, so Matt's excited. Yeah. But I did I did hear something on them. Um, I actually follow Space 20 on social media. Yeah. And they said if you get, like, the white ones, those are, like, ultra rare. So yeah, yeah. I think we're going to open at least mine. Yeah. Uh, do you want to open yours, too? You don't have let's to. Open yours, okay, let's I open yours. I think mine. you have an unopened pack at home, and I yeah, don't. Yeah, I do. I do. So we'll open yours this Sounds time. Sounds good. Here, I'll give you the camera. All right, let's see. All right. Oh, this this is my first pack opening. The and people, opening these. Um, there were some people a few tables away from us that were opening, and they all started cheering, and I looked over, and they had gotten one of the white cards. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So, okay. Let's see. No white one. No white cards. All right, they're cool. Yeah. They're still pretty neat. Yeah, they, they have kind some of, fun facts on them. One of them is like um, food themes, so like how they eat in space. Yeah. Oh yeah, space. How they eat milk in space. Yeah. That's fun. Um, but I have a couple of these. I'm glad I can finally open one for the first time. I've yeah. been just keeping them as souvenirs. But that being said, that's a fun, fun little perk of coming yeah. here. Yeah. And you get those if you get the non-alcoholic like mocktail type drinks. Yeah. Which I will say were a little bit pricey. Yeah. So they were. Goose drink was twelve dollars, and my alcoholic drink was sixteen. So a little bit up there in yeah. price, but um, the drinks are really fun, really creative, and you get trading cards with yeah. them too. All right, so Matt took me over here. Did, did you take me to go to La Casserole? The La, La Ordecine de Glaces. So we're not going to La Casserole. Oh, we're not going to La Casserole. Maybe another day we'll okay. go to La Casserole. But we're going to La, Ar what is it? I don't know, but we're going. Okay. <laughs> um, but they have ice cream here. We're gonna try and get some dessert here tonight. Meanwhile, we're waiting in line for this mystery item. Mm -hmm. um, I did notice these stars up here. I, I really didn't notice oh, these yeah. before. These look pretty nice at night. They're all lit up. Um, all of the France decorations, I think, look really nice. Well, this is nice, though. They have some reefs up here. It kind of feels like you're coming into um, the, the cozy ice cream shop, which I think is nice. Yeah. You have some, like, cows here. It's kind of hard to see. But you have, like, cows on, the, um, on those giant things in there. This is fun. I like this theming. Oh, that's a really cool chandelier. Oh, yeah. see that? Uh, it's made of like uh, I guess like milk jug things. I guess so. That's fun. Kind of going with the the ice cream feeling. But we're here. We're gonna go get what we're gonna get, and um, I guess we'll see you guys afterwards with what our um, mystery selections. So we'll see you guys outside. Hey, can I have one of the croque glace, please, with a uh, vanilla, please? 
Um, what was that again? Chocolate, caramel, uh, chocolate, please. Oh, okay. All right, so Matt's ordering his mystery item. Uh, the anticipation's building. I think we're going to head out, kind of reveal exactly what he got, and I guess we'll go from there, but I'm pretty excited. I got the same thing, so it should be a fun reveal. But I will say one thing before we head out. The line was outside the door, but don't make that discourage you. Uh, it goes pretty quick, and uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, so we're here. Um, there's not really any tables, which is kind of... Um, I wish they kind of had something for this, but yeah. Matt, you want to reveal exactly what we have here? So this is a croak glace or something like that. Basically, it's two pieces of um, brioche bread, I think it was. And they put ice cream and they put a sauce. And then they put it in like a press and they um, heated it up. Like It was like a waffle press, but it was specially designed. So it gives you this shape. So I got... I got caramel ice cream with a caramel drizzle. Um, I don't know. Let me see. I don't know if it's a good idea to... Maybe I'll mm -hmm. just take a bite of it. Yeah, I just take a bite. I can't really see bread? a whole lot in the What? Oh, you're getting it, right? Yeah, I am getting some. It's good. It's interesting. Is it too much bread? Is the bread too much? Maybe. All right, you're making me kind of jealous. You're making the bread, kind of jealous. The bread here. has kind of like a burnt taste to it almost. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, I really want to try mine out. All right, let me try mine out. Um, and of course, I don't want to get my hands all sticky, so I'm going to hold it with the provided um, napkin thing. Hmm. It's not as good as I expected it to be, but it's not bad. I got the vanilla ice cream with the chocolate swirl. Um, I kind of like mine. I'm surprised we never knew these existed. Yeah, I'm, these have been here for a while, right? I guess so. I don't yeah. know. Well, there you go. Kind of unique treat here at um, Epcot. I guess everyone else must know about it because there's a long line to get it. Or they just want ice cream. Maybe, yeah. They also just have scoops of ice cream. Um, or they have an ice cream martini. I'm going to have to come back and try that sometime. <laughs> well, overall, something kind of fun to come in. Um, yeah, I think it was $9, which... Um, not bad. Not, not, not bad. I enjoy mine, that's good. Yeah. It would be nice if they had a sweeter bread though. Yeah. If they had like a donut. Uh huh. Imagine a donut, that would be oh, good. Yeah. yeah. That being said though, I'm personally surprised with this. I like it. Um, I, I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5. I'd probably give it a 3 4. Just because of the bread. Cool. Ice cream's good. Idea's great. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Yeah. That being said though, I think we're probably gonna wrap it up now. But I think it was really great to kind of show you guys a different aspect of Space 220, which I think is something I've always wanted to do. The food was all right, but I think it was great to kind of show you guys what those offerings include and um, kind of show you guys how the lounge works. Yeah, I think it was a lot of fun. I think I would go back for the lounge. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah. For those wondering how lunch is at Space 220, we did go there on opening day, so we kind of faced the crowds. Feel free to watch that video. We'll link it in the description for anyone interested. But that was really fun. Glad we got to revisit it. Yeah. And glad we got to try that ice cream sandwich. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It was an honor bringing you guys along today. But um, make sure you guys do hit that like button as you guys are leaving. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe as well as we have plenty of content, fun things coming up. And we'd love to have you guys join us. As usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. And you're you. And we both wish a Goo to each and every one of you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great night. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Halloween. <laughs>